This is WENY News. Good morning. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Cody Carlson. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. President Donald Trump will reveal his Supreme Court pick next week. The president tweeted late Wednesday night he will reveal the name on Thursday of next week. The news came after a senior administration official told CNN that Trump had finished interviewing his candidates. Trump has said his Supreme Court justice pick will be pro-life, signaling he may want his next nominee to overturn Roe v. Wade. He says if that happens, abortion laws would go to the states. And more protests against Donald Trump, people unhappy with Trump's executive order of building the border wall took to Washington Square in the city to show their frustration. Protesters chanted the words, quote, no ban, no wall, this is our New York, and resist. Signs were made saying, I stand with immigrant New York. Trump ordered the wall to be built, and another executive order is expected to be signed to stop refugees and citizens from certain countries from entering the U.S. The new president explained his order yesterday. Our order also does the following, ends the policy of catch and release at the border, requires other countries to take back their criminals. They will take them back. Cracks down on sanctuary cities. And for a full list of Trump's plans for the day, you can head to our website, weny.com. Well, amid Trump's immigration plans, one local college is reassuring undocumented students they are safe on campus. Ithaca College says their undocumented students are part of a welcoming campus. According to our media partner WHCU in Ithaca, the college says it does not request or keep lists of undocumented student status. The college also said admission and the amount of financial aid given has nothing to do with citizenship. The Office of Public Safety for the school does not enforce immigration law. Ithaca will only give student or employee information to outside parties if issued a subpoena or warrant. And the Rochester man who plotted a New Year's Eve attack at a New York City restaurant in the name of ISIS will learn his fate today. Emmanuel Lutchman pleaded guilty to conspiracy to provide material support to a for foreign terrorist organization back in August. He faces up to 20 years in prison. The 26-year-old was using websites related to violent jihad and even made contact with a now-deceased member of ISIS in 2015. The FBI was able to stop the attack using an undercover informant. Lutchman will be sentenced at 11 a.m. Well, a historic milestone reached on Wall Street yesterday. For the first time ever, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above 20,000. The Dow rose 156 points to finish 20,069. The milestone leaves the Dow up more than, one, more than 1,700 points since Donald Trump won the presidential election back in November. And it's a sign investors are quite optimistic about the U.S. economy. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ also saw strong gains on Wednesday. And good news for Elmira Savings Bank. Despite reporting flat fourth quarter earnings, their earnings for the year increased 5%. The bank reported their earnings of $4.34 million, which is up from $4.12 million in 2015. Now, this comes after an average fourth quarter of $1.04 million, which translates to only $0.30 cents a share. The bank cites a decrease in loan losses and an increase in net interest incomes for the higher earnings this year. Elmira Savings Bank has 14 offices around the Twin Tiers. And now here's Craig Flint with a look at today's forecast. What's going on, Craig? Hey there, Cody. Thanks a lot. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Here's your forecast today, starting the day with a wide range of temperatures. Most everyone is above 32. However, where skies have actually cleared a little bit, like Elmira, like Corning, temperatures are actually close to 32. There's also some scattered rain moving through, and if you're if you've got some scattered rain and a temperature close to 32, I wouldn't be surprised for some pockets of isolated freezing rain. Generally, though, it's just a rain shower coming through this morning. What's going to happen today is midday temperatures near 44. Then they'll start to drop through the course of the afternoon and into the 30s, which will transition rain showers to snow showers first over higher elevations then eventually lower elevations by the finish of the day. And notice that uh, west wind 10 to 25 miles per hour with higher gusts. 
that west wind will be so persistent through the weekend and it will be key to the forecast because there will be significant lake effect snow areas east of Lake Ontario, north of Syracuse, and areas east of Lake Erie. Tonight, breezy and cold with scattered snow showers and a low of 28. There it is, your weekend feeling much more like winter with scattered light snow showers Saturday, high of 34, scattered light flurries and snow showers Sunday with a high of 30. One caveat, far western Steuben County, Jasper Troopsburg, Canisteo, Hornell, Wayland, Cohocton, points west of those areas I just mentioned, may get scraped with a few to several inches of lake effect snow as that Lake Erie Band extends inland and kind of lashes far western Steuben County. So here's what it looks like with the lake effect snow. Again, this is going to be a long duration event. It starts tonight, goes through Friday, goes through Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday. And the thing with lake effect snow is it's dry and fluffy. You get that fluff factor. So it could pile up quickly. And it will pile up quickly east of Lake Ontario and also east of Lake Erie. Here's your forecast then over the northern tier. Scattered rain showers changing to snow showers first over higher elevations then eventually lower elevations by late today. Midday temperatures 40 to 44. Then they fall with scattered rain showers changing to snow showers first higher elevations and then eventually changing to snow showers over lower elevations over the Finger Lakes too. So there's a cold front coming through today and been watching this little area of rain just kind of scraping northern Pennsylvania this morning. And then we look to the west, and you can already see the beginnings of that lake effecty stuff that will occur uh, as we head into, uh, again, tonight through Friday, Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday for areas east of Lake Ontario, areas east of Lake Erie. So if you have to travel uh, over sections of New York State in those suspect favored lake effect areas, going to be a tough go of it. Next seven days of your life, and it's feeling more like winter as we head into the weekend with scattered snow showers at times and temperatures in the 30s. Cody? All right, thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Cody Carlson. Have a great day.